Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Brandon and today I am extremely excited to announce the launch of a new cybersecurity lab that I've been building for the past few weeks. Now I've been pouring out my heart and soul into building this lab from drafting up the architecture to actually building it and then extensive testing to make sure that all the attack paths work and I cannot wait for you all to get your hands on it. Now, I built this lab with the intentions of mimicking an external penetration test where you are somehow able to gain internal access as well. So you'll go through six target machines in total. You'll start with external access, hopefully pivoting internal and ultimately getting domain admin in this environment. Now this lab has a little bit of everything. There is some Linux machines, there are some Windows machines and an Active Directory environment. So I'm sure there'll be tons of new things to learn. And I did gear this lab more towards beginners. It's not necessarily very easy to complete the whole lab, but it's not gonna require extensive knowledge or any you know crazy exploits or things that should be too, too difficult. But if you're new, I'm sure you'll probably learn a few new things while going through this environment. Now this lab was created and will be shared via Snap Labs. If you are not familiar with Snap Labs, go ahead and check out the video that I made about that platform. I think it is absolutely phenomenal and it is a very easy way to create and share different cybersecurity labs. With that being said, this entire lab is hosted on AWS. The way it works is you'll click the link down below in the description to import the Snap Labs lab template. Once you do that, it will be added into your own AWS account and all you have to do is pay the hosting fees. That's right, there is absolutely zero charge to access this lab besides your own hosting fees because, well, unfortunately, I don't have pockets deep enough to pay for everybody's AWS bill. With that being said, if you'd like to support me in creating these labs and more in the future, please be sure to check out my Patreon and buy me a coffee pages. It's something that helps me creating this kind of content, especially these labs that take up a lot of time. So as far as the AWS hosting bill, you're going to be looking at an estimated cost of about 47 cents per hour of lab runtime, and that's on your own AWS account. Now that's pretty cheap for the lab that you're getting, and none of that goes to me. That's just for your own hosting, right? Um, so you're, you're looking at about maybe in the ballpark of 11 or $12 if you were to run this lab for a full 24 hours. But keep in mind that you only actually need to have these machines powered on when you're explicitly using it. So that cost is really going to be dependent dependent on how long it takes you to complete this lab. But either way, I think it is a very low price point for uh, the kind of content that you'll see in that lab. I think that there's a lot of things that you could learn and a lot of fun to be had while you're working your way through it. Also on that hosting note, I do want to say that there's two ways to access this lab once you import the template and run it. I did include a Kali virtual machine in there, which you can just VNC into via Apache Guacamole through your browser. Luckily, Snap Lab sets that up for you, so you can just click a few buttons, boom, be in that cloud hosted Kali VM. But that is kind of the beefiest VM in there. It's got uh, two CPU cores and eight gigs of RAM. And I think it costs about nine cents an hour last time I checked to run that one VM. So if you wanted to connect via OpenVPN on a Kali machine that you own, right, that you're running on a virtual machine or whatever, that would save you about nine cents an hour in hosting. It would bring the cost to about, I don't know, 38 cents an hour for an estimated runtime of the lab. So if you don't want to use that Kali machine, just import the lab template, delete that Kali machine right away. Whether you gain access via the VNC session to the provided Kali machine or with OpenVPN, you're going to have the exact same level of access. So there's really no differentiating factor there. The only variable is, well, do you want to pay the extra hosting bill and not have to host it on your own hardware? Or do you want to host it on your own hardware and save a couple cents on hosting? Now, as far as getting help and hints for the lab goes, if you're interested in doing that, go ahead and check out my Discord server. There's a link below to join that server in every video. I have a section called labs and there's a channel called entry level pen testing where you can go ahead and join and get different hints and tips from other people who are completing the lab. I'll also be on the Discord server very often so you can interact with me as well. I'd also be curious to see if you find any bugs with the lab or any feedback that you may have uh, for going forward if I were to create more labs. Also, if you do complete the lab and get domain administrator, there is a root.txt file on the desktop of the domain admin on the domain controller. Go ahead and DM me a screenshot of that on Discord. I'm going to be assigning some special roles to people who are uh, going through and fully completing this lab, just as kind of a, a little bit of bragging rights, just a little bit of fun. I also plan on live streaming an entire walkthrough of this whole lab and a big marathon stream coming up very soon. So make sure that you hit the notification bell so you're alerted whenever I go live to do that here on YouTube. 
I hope that you all will enjoy this lab. Again, I put so much time and effort into it, and I really hope that a lot of you are gaining some value from it. I really am just interested in helping other people learn, and I think that this is a fantastic way to do it. There's not much else that I have to say about this lab. I don't wanna to reveal too many spoilers or give too much away, but essentially, if you wanna go, complete this lab right now, go ahead and click the link down below in the description to import the Snap Labs template, launch it in your AWS account, and then connect to either the provided Kali machine or over OpenVPN, and you should be able to start hitting machines that are on the Edge subnet. And from there, well, kind of anything goes. Go ahead and try to compromise those Edge nodes, work your way internal, and go through the Active Directory domain. Now, I will say there are a few Microsoft Zero Days that have been released recently that shall not be named, uh, which will probably work on some of the lab machines because they're Windows devices. And that's not the intentional method of uh, rooting those machines. You don't need to go through and do Print Nightmare or Petit Potem or anything like that that would require some, you know, very new exploits that are coming into play. Well, and that's everything I got for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the lab. Please give me some feedback if you do go through the lab, whether it's positive or negative. I just like to see what you think. If this lab gets a lot of support, I would be more than happy to create more and do different scenarios as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.